All right, shopkeeper, have fun. Oh my god. Oh Did man, I thought it what? was destroying it. Dude. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen right now. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Now we got some fun Can things to do. Can you bomb it now? Um, let's find out. Oh my god, all right. Whoa! I'm in! I'm in! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that's amazing! So in this clip of a playthrough of Splunky, Baron Biznap discovered that you can destroy the Maui head with a ball and chain which allows you to skip right through it. Normally you need to be equipped with the Ankh and die in the same level as a Moai head in order to get resurrected inside, but this is skipped by doing this trick. The eggplant speedrun of this game requires you to get an item called eggplant very early in the game and take it with you to the very end. By throwing at the final boss King Yama's face during battle, it will turn him into an eggplant. This is very difficult to do because the eggplant is so fragile and easy to get destroyed. This skip has allowed speedrunners to do the eggplant speedrun of this game in a single player run, which it used to be considered a co-op only speedrun. What? What? So what you saw right here in SVA speedrun of Ocarina of Time was a skip that's now known as Goma Skip. By using Goma's attack, you'll be able to clip behind this wall. Paired with the infinite sword glitch, you'll be able to kill Goma through the wall. The reason this is useful is because you have to use the door behind the wall for the Ganondorf trick. The wall only opens up after re-entering the Deku Tree, so by clipping through it, you can walk out the door, walk back in, and the wall will be down. During 100% speedrun, you'll now be able to use a Ganondorf warp to skip to Ganon's tower. Okay, this is a chest. And the door, I guess. What? 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 What is... Uh... <laughs> what's happening, dude? <laughs> um... I don't think this is how the game works. Alright, so a lot goes on in this video, so I'll try my best to explain how the glitch you saw works in any percent speedrun of Secret of Mana to skip right to the credits. What you need to do to start this glitch is make a status message appear. In the speedrun of this game, it's done by using this barrel, which whenever you put it on, it makes a barrel status message appear. Right after the status message is closed, you need to start a script that will show your player's money, just like by talking to Cannon Man here. Usually whenever you open up a shop, it will display your money and then whatever's in the shop, but usually your money is going to pop up right before, like a couple frames before the shop does appear. Now as long as the money window is open before any other window in the game, it's going to give you an invisible window. This happens because of you closing the barrel message and starting the cannon man message on a specific frame. There are still options in this invisible menu, but if you pull up the save menu, it's going to clear out all of the options. By picking different options, you'll be accessing different areas on the table pointer. By doing the right order of events, you'll trigger the endgame credits. This is a pretty insane glitch that was found by a complete accident. And this tutorial is just really good. <clears throat> what? D what? I just... What? So in the clip you just saw, Bubbles Del Fuego managed to find a wrong warp in Oblivion by pure accident. This happens when you load a file when you enter a load zone. This makes the game load you into the zone of wherever the character in the file you load up is. Speedrunners will abuse this in speedruns to warp back to areas they've already visited in the speedrun. With this skip, it saves around 10 minutes in Fallout 4, about 5 minutes in Oblivion, and 2 minutes in Skyrim. Also, speedrunners are only allowed to use the save files made that run. It, 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 can you see now? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so I'll do it. Dude! I skipped the cutscene completely! What? I skipped- How? How? I, I died at the same time that the cutscene started. Oh! That's even fun, dude! Oh! Someone! Someone! Oh! <laughs> oh! So, 
So wait, here, I've got a file that's over by the- In this clip of Jack and Daxter, whenever you enter goal in Maya Citadel, a cutscene will play. By hitting start and L2 or R2, you can fuse the game into thinking that it's paused by opening up two menus at once. This is called pause buffer. During this time, the game thinks you paused the game, but you really didn't. Since cutscenes can't be played while the game is paused, you're free to move around. After two and a half seconds, the game will realize you actually didn't pause the game and the menu will come up. So if you do the pause buffer when entering the citadel and jump off the ledge, you'll die and skip the cutscene. The game will assume you've already watched the cutscene and you won't have to watch it at all. This skip saves about 5 minutes from the any% percent speedrun and in combination with the lava tube skip, brings the speedrun down to just under 25 minutes. Okay, so when I'm going upwards, my angle is at 68.01. Let's try that then. Doesn't seem right. Oh well, we'll try it. What? Uh, guys. Portal being an extremely broken game has yet again another exploit shown to potentially make the speedrun even faster. The camera you have in Portal has a small area in the hitbox that doesn't quite agree with your hitbox on collision. This ends up giving you loads of momentum and sends you upwards. Unfortunately, the trick is extremely inconsistent, and there are a handful of other tricks that are so much more useful to save time. Still, you can't not love Norcat's reaction. What comes after I optimize? What? Wait. Did I just... So in this clip, Dexterra manages to skip the endgame boss, Mr. Dark. How he was able to do this is by touching the end of the level sign without his attack touching him. This attack takes away your first power away. Usually you get it back after the phase 1 part of that fight, but in the Game Boy Advance version, the game thinks you finished fighting him and you completely skip the boss. This is a Game Boy Advance exclusive glitch and it doesn't work on the PC or PlayStation 1 version. And then you just tap forward. Okay, I should be good now, right? Yes, land on the health. There we go. Where's Drek? Where's Drek? Where's Drek? Ah! Maxis! Oh my god, he left. Maxis is not here. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! We skipped Drek! What? So if you couldn't tell by the Rixer's reaction, he accidentally found the Drek skip in Ratchet & Clank, which completely skips the final boss Drek. You can do this by using tricks like in-level movies and infinite jumps to fly over the level to the deplanetizer. For some reason when you do this in a new game plus, which basically means you're playing the game with all of your past items and weapons, Drek won't spawn and you can press the button to end the game. This won't work in a normal playthrough of the game, only a new game plus. This skip saves roughly 50 seconds from the any percent speedrun. Apple. Alright. Second. Wait, what? That's not Mad Monster Mansion? Dude. Wait. Wait! Um. Uh, guys, what just happened? Oh well. In this clip, our obliterator discovered a very sought after skip in Banjo Kazooie called the Furnace Skip, completely by accident. Furnace Fun is a quiz show that Banjo and Kazooie have to get past to save Banjo's little sister Tootie. You're asked a series of questions on every square you step on, but getting the questions wrong could result in you leaving life points or even getting pushed into the lava forcing you to start the quiz over again. In order to do this skip, you must be standing on a sudden death square. You'll be asked a quiz question. 
If you purposely get this quiz question wrong, the square will try to push you into lava. If you go into first person mode and position Banjo correctly, the tile will only push you backwards. By not getting pushed into the lava, you'll be able to walk on all the squares with ease and skip the minigame. This skip saves 5 minutes from the speedrun. Alright guys, before I show the number 1 spot in this top 10, I want to go over a few honorable mentions. The first one comes from Oginam, when you found a Nishandra glitch that completely froze her. Oginam has attempted to clear out some of the items from his storage right before the cutscene started, and when the holy water urn is thrown into her spawn area, she'll be completely frozen after spawn. Um, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, hey guys? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? The only reason why I didn't include this in actual top 10 is because I'm not completely sure if it's an accident or not, but I really think it was. Still a hilarious reaction to finding a glitch. Oh, dang. Oh, dude. What the? What the? Did you get invisible walls? What? Please say you got invisible No, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen, though. What happened? I was going for like red coins or something, dude. Oh, and then I got warped up Don't to the top. you going for, dude. What the fuck was that? This next one comes from Dota Teabag when he found an up warp in TikTok Clock in Super Mario 64. Up warps aren't a thing that are commonly done in Super Mario 64, so seeing this was a crazy cool discovery. The even crazier thing with it is that nobody has ever been able to recreate the glitch. People have completely recreated his run from start to the spot for that glitch and have tried frame by frame to recreate the glitch with no luck. This led to Pond and Coke to put a thousand dollar bounty for whoever could successfully do the glitch. It's been over a year with loads of effort being put into try and recreate it with no success. If you can somehow manage to do this glitch, you'll find yourself a thousand dollars richer. There is a possibility that it was a hardware malfunction, but that's something that we might not ever know. No, he's unfrozen. I can't hover over him. I think I might have to equip my sword here. Is there any way to get Kajiro oh, back? Oh, what? Wait, I have ex uh. <laughs> What? Wait a second. What? Wait, what? I had broken Goron's sword. With bomb bag on C right, and he gave me the eyeball frog. 